right there is a cannon laying in the creek. All right, guys, here it is. The M1902 or model 1902 cannon right here. It's a three inch field gun. You guys might have followed or follow some of the same metal detecting pages I do. So about a year and some change ago, I put this on Facebook asking if it was a cannon. And a lot of people are like, no, it's this and this. Well, where I am, this is definitely a cannon. Uh, it's a M1902 three inch field gun. So right now I am walking on an army fort, still active. You can't even take a rock from this place, guys. All right, you pick up that rock and bring it home, it's illegal. Uh, but it doesn't change the fact that I, I like to fish in these creeks and I like to just wade and look for stuff. Uh, you can pick it up, take a picture of it, but you better not take it, take it. Um, but anyway, I verified with the museum curator on this post and he indeed did say this is an M1902 three inch field cannon. The reason why it's in this creek, they were during World War I or after World War I, they didn't need them anymore. So what they did was they put them along the banks of this creek here. I don't know if y'all can see that. So right after World War I, this creek here, it sometimes can get to a mile wide. And the flooding got so bad, they had to start using concrete and trash like this right here to throw on this creek to stop the eroding of the bank. Well, for some reason they decided, hey, we'll use our old cannons. They definitely rendered them useless and uh, used them. You know, instead of wasting them or selling them to another country, we used it to stop eroding. But anyway, after, you know, 100 years, guys, this ends up washing out of the bank. But there you, you have the breach there. That's definitely where the breach is. You can you can see the hinge right here where they'd open it, load the three inch shell and shut it. And then the two people would sit here. So the two soldiers would sit on either end right here. If it wasn't so eroded, you'd be able to see it right here where it would say three inch field gun, uh, model or M1902. Uh, but yeah, definitely they would sit here. I wish it wasn't so corroded like I said. Uh, you can actually see an axle too. Let's make our way. There's an axle to the wagon wheel. There's a giant wooden wheel, guys. <laughs> uh, a lot of the pictures and videos I've seen, um, these things were horse drawn. So horses would pull these, but I also saw a lot of wheeled vehicles pulling these as well. All right, so here's the barrel. It is amazing. Here it is. Oh yeah, you can feel the rifling as well. I'm gonna let that clear and uh, let me see if we can get a good picture or video of it. But actually, so then this piece right here comes under the barrel. I believe it's the to clear the barrel. I'm not too sure. I'm not artillery, but. This piece right here goes under the barrel. From a lot of the pictures, and I went to the museum and actually saw it, this went under the barrel into this little piece in here. So it actually should be right here, but it was it got pulled out somehow. I believe that's brass as well. But. guys and here's a, another cannon this one's flipped over 
Uh, as you remember on that piece that I showed you earlier, that's the piece right there underneath the barrel. Um, let me see if I can get a better view here. I'm making it murky. Um, so this is the piece that I was showing you guys that was under the barrel. I, I'm not too sure what this is, but it's definitely brass. I can tell you that. And there's the barrel right here underwater and then the piece under it. So this one here is just flipped over completely. So I mean, you can almost imagine why they used them to stop the erosion. I mean, the water pressure is so, so bad here. And uh, the banks erode very, very easily. So the force to pull this cannon out of the bank and flip it the way it is, it's just amazing. But let's see if we can get a better shot of that. There's the barrel right here and then the under piece of the barrel. But here's the axle that it sat on. You can see that axle over there, right here. And this is just an undershot of it. And it's pretty cool. You definitely got more pieces under here. There it is, there's the breach again. In the back, just an undershot of it. All right, guys, uh, one more thing before I get out of here. Look at this thing. I, I believe it's a piece of it. So there's the uh, cannons right here. It's one, two. And I believe that's part of it right here. It's where they would tow it or hitch it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's definitely part of it. Oh, man, that is cool. I really wish I could take that home. Ah. Uh, but I can't. That's freaking cool. I don't even know what I would do with it. There you have it, guys. Um, one of my most amazing discoveries right here is a cannon in the creek. It's just... I just really wanted to share this with y'all. Probably never again will I run into a cannon just left in a creek. Um, who knows? This thing might have saw action in World War I. Uh, and then shipped back here to the States. I don't know. But all you could do is just imagine uh, the soldiers sitting on this thing, shooting it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, again, I got a lot more videos coming out. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And uh, I appreciate it, guys.